Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Maths Basics series. Um, this is going to be a fairly short overview of differential equations. Um, you can take, you can watch these videos uh, separately if you're not taking a differential equations class. You can use them as kind of a study material or just something to kind of reinforce some concepts. Uh, you might be using this differential equations textbook in your differential equations class. Of course, this textbook is uh, Worldwide Differential Equations with Linear Algebra by Robert McGowan. Um, this, this series is not going to go over linear algebra as much. We're going to touch on it briefly and how to solve differential equations differential equations in three-dimensional space or n-dimensional space. Um, of course, if you just want to learn differential equations, that's good too. You can uh, pick up a copy of this textbook um, or simply just watch along with us. Um, of course, you can find the copy of that textbook on our store at uh, worldwidecenterofmath.org. Um, And there will be links for all these. Uh, anyways, so yeah. First of all, I assume you have a good understanding of calculus at this point. Um, so that's you should be able to differentiate and integrate like a pro. Uh, have no problems with that. Um, you should be fairly comfortable with multivariable calculus. Um, but mostly... Um, Mostly we're going to just be doing standard, non-partial um, derivatives and integrals. And hopefully I'll explain in such a way you don't need to know Calculus 3 too much. But what is a differential equation? You might be uh, asking to your computer screen at this moment. Uh, differential equations come up a lot in science and natural sciences outside of mathematics and are often used to model things like growth or model what's what's going on in a marketplace or model really any sort of data set that you might have where you have a bunch of data and it seems to be following some curve where the rate of change of the function, of the output of the function, is equal to or proportional to the, um, is equal to or proportional to, um, to the input of the function. So, like here, you might recognize this shape as the uh, logistic growth, where the rate of change of some population is proportional to, there, there seems to be some limiting thing here, so it's proportional to like the, the cap of the population and um, minus uh, the current population or something like that. We might also be dealing with uh, physics problems where you have the uh, double derivative of position plus the derivative plus the position is equal to something, and that we'll go into later. Um, but we're going to need to know how to solve for that uh, so we can find more, out more information about what's going on. Um, brief overview of what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to run through uh, a few of the most basic um, differential differential equations that you can solve, starting with uh, separable differential equations. We're going to solve those with separation of variables. Uh, we're, um, we're going to solve, we're going to, we're going to solve uh, first order and second order linear differential equations, and that just means what, so first order, the first derivative of x is going to show up in your problem, second order, the second derivative. Um, we're going to look at some algebraic methods with the Laplace transform uh, for solving differential equations. 
uh, and the Laplace transform will also be useful for solving step and di Dirac delta functions where the uh, function is not continuous and may spike only at one one moment in the graph and so thinking of like impulse force if I kick a ball the force is not um, the force is not acting on that ball constantly there's just one spike in, in the force that's happening to the ball. So that's pretty much it. We're going to hop right into it. Um, you can click on the next video now. I'm just going to uh, give you some information if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel or uh, check out the rest of this playlist as a list or visit our website where you can buy this uh, wonderful differential equations book. Of course, if you're on mobile, those can be found in the cards below. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next video.